Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Crazy Over Parties. If this is your first time watching my video, I want to thank you, welcome to the channel. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, you like this video, you watch the video in its entirety. And if you're a returning viewer, I just want to say thank you again to you for watching this video and coming back to my tutorials. You guys know that I love when you share my videos, you like them, share the videos with anyone that you know that is a beginner balloon artist, anyone that may be an event planner or just a DIY lover, anyone you know that would enjoy the videos that we post. Thank you guys so much for sharing and let's get into this video. So today I am building a balloon garland over that window right behind where I am sitting. So to start the garland, I am over inflating my balloons and I am releasing some of the air as I push the balloon against my skin. I am doing this so that my balloons are very pretty. They're oval shaped. They're not over inflated. They won't pop easily when I start touching them uh, because they have too much air. So I over inflate and then I release some of the air. I build the base of my garland by tying four balloons together and then I tie an additional four balloons of the same color to it before changing the color. The base of this garland is being built out of mainly 11 inch balloons and I may add a few 17 inch but my 24, 36 and 5 inch balloons I will add once I have the garland where I want it to be. I will add those details later. In the description box below, I'll make sure that I, I tell you guys what colors I'm using and the brands. For the most part, I am using Kali Sun today. And overall, I will say that I like the brand of balloons. They were very flexible. They did not pop easily. And the quality of the balloons were pretty good. But for each color, and check the description box and I'll make sure I'll put that below for anyone that needs to know. Overall, I do like the Kalistan brand of balloons, but I don't like that little dot that sticks out at the top of the balloon. Like you can see, like it's a little darker than the rest of the balloons. It doesn't just blend in with the rest of the balloon. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you can't see, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, once I get the garland up, I'm going to like point it out to you. I'm not sure what that's about. Like if that's just like how they manufacture the balloons, but that's the only thing that I would say that I really didn't care for about the balloons. But overall, the quality of balloons are pretty good. And I will definitely trust using those balloons for an outside install. And if you have not watched our last video in regards to the balloon pump that I am using today, y'all, please make sure you go back and watch that video. Um, I'm talking all about the Air Force balloon pump. I get so many questions about it. And that's the video for you. If you want to know if I recommend you buying it, the pros and the cons of it, go back and check it out. So let's get into this build. I am pulling the neck out of one set of four balloons and I am then tying another set of balloons on top of that balloon with just simply tying the necks together. You guys know I don't waste time or money with using 260s for this. Shout out to online balloon classes for this tip many, many years ago because it definitely helps. I'm tying my necks together. Um, just pull it out, make it very stretchy if you have a hard time with it. And once you get the hang of it, it is going to go quickly. Just repeat those steps until you get your garland long, long enough to hang. So you guys see I'm doing a test run. I'm trying to see how I'm going to get the garland to fall. And if I needed to add a few more balloons before I go ahead and hang it. And I decided to kind of put it over the window and around the love seat. And I also decided to go ahead and add some balloons to it before I hang it. So that way I don't have to do as much pulling on my uh, adhesive hook. And I won't make it fall. So I am adding some more balloons here. And I'm using that same two technique of tying the necks together to make that garland longer. And now let's get into hanging it. I have my painter's tape and I am putting the painter's tape on the wall before I apply my adhesive hooks. And I'm doing this because I want to make sure that I do not rip 
the paint off the wall with the adhesive hook. You never want to put an adhesive hook directly on your wall, especially a client's wall, because it will leave damage. So I put my painter's tape down, then I put my adhesive hook on top. I am then going to tie a 260 to the adhesive hook, and I'm going to wrap that 260 around the adhesive hook, tie a knot, and then tie the balloon garland to the adhesive hook. I love my hooks because they are secure. Unlike a command strip, the command strips are very funny. I've had them uh, fail me a couple times. And since then, I just use adhesive hooks. I never have it fall on me. And if it does fall on me, it's my fault, guys. It's never been the adhesive hooks fall, fault. It's always been mine, and I'll tell you why. Sometimes I pull my adhesive hook way too far. Like I might have an adhesive hook down and I'm trying to pull it far pull I'm putting too much stress on the two, stress on the 260. And by applying stress to the 260, it's pulling the adhesive hook off the wall. That's the only reason why my adhesive hook won't stick. Situations like that, it's an easy fix. Just add one or two more 260s so you don't apply, apply too much pressure or you won't pull your adhesive hooks off the wall. So I am applying more painter's tape to the right side of that garland. And I am doing that just to take some of the pressure off that top hook. Um, I wanted to make sure that it's secure. So I'm just adding one more adhesive hook to that right side with the uh, 260. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the bottom of the garland and add some more details. And this is a quick glimpse of what your hook and your painter's tape should look like on the wall before you apply your balloons to it. So I'm adding a couple more balloons here um, just to make sure that it's long enough and I'm not pulling my garland too far. And I got that 260 and I'm gonna do that same thing that I did at the top and I'm just tying a 260 to the garland and to the wall. And this is what the beginning of the balloon garland looks like. I know it's not pretty, it's very basic, but we're gonna add some more details to it. We're gonna make it bigger, longer, and you know, a little bit more unique. With the light shining through, all the balloons, the colors like look very much the same to me, but it's kind of amazing when the sun went down and it was much darker, you could really, tell the difference in the color of balloons and you guys will see that to the towards the end um right now the colors are just like black but once the sun goes down you can really get the good look of what each color looks like and how much the colors really work together so i probably wouldn't have put these balloons or i shouldn't have really put them in the window right now and here i am opening the blinds to get even more sun coming through and it just made it worse. Um, it's just, it's taken away from the garland and you really can't see how pretty the colors are because the light is shining through on them. All right, now that I got the bottom half of that garland built, I'm gonna start adding some more details. And I am going to do that by simply using my 260s again. And I am gonna tie two sets of balloons on each side of my 260 and I'm going to wrap it around my garland and place them wherever I want my details to go. So you guys see here an example of that. And then you're gonna see me wrap it where I want it to go. And that's just, that's how I'm the easiest way for me to add my details to my garland without it being necessarily permanent because if I don't like it, I do want to go back and be able to change it. With the details, I'm starting to add my 11, my five, 17, 24 inch balloons, just to make the garland full. I wanna make it very full and nice. Now you can see kind of the change in the color when I close the window. And it gets even better as the video continues, as it starts getting a little bit darker. So you guys keep watching. I'm gonna to continue to add more details to the garland with my 260s, and then let me know what you think.
All right, guys. And then I also decided to add some balloons to the left side over there because the garland looks good, but it also looks bare. So I wanted to make something a little bit more to add a little bit more of detail or just make it complete. So I thought it would be nice to have something towards that left side at the bottom. And then I kind of had it straight up at first and I decided to go back and kind of lay it down. So it's at an angle and it's like cute and full and it just, you know, makes the garland look complete. I was running low on balloons because I had these balloons left over for any, from an event that I did previously. But I did want to add a few more balloons to the garland just so it'll be a little bit thicker um, and more full. But overall to me, it looks good the way that it is. And after I added a few more balloon details towards the bottom of the garland, this is how it turned out. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. As it gets darker, you can kind of tell the difference in the balloon colors. They don't all just look the same now. Um, and like I said, I am going to make sure that I list the balloon colors and the brands in the description box below. You guys, please make sure that you like, subscribe, share the channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is probably my favorite picture slash video because you can really see the details in it. And again, thank you. And until next time, you guys be safe.